What's going on guys, Tolan here and welcome to Content Strategies where we help you with tips, tools and strategies to build your online presence with video strategies. Welcome to another video on Node Video Editor app where we help you with insights about this awesome app, how you can use it to the fullest to give your audience a better experience. In today's video, what we're going to be looking into is the project settings for video editing. What settings you need to put your videos to correspond with the app so you don't have any issues in playback or in export mode so the best settings you need to set the app is is based on four criteria which is the resolution frame rate the review resolution and the preview rendering mode so the first one we're going to be looking into is the resolution when you open this app up the resolution is on default which is i think it's 1280 by 720 which is the hg because this if you are editing in this default setting you are not going to get the best preview of your what of your edit and as and as well your export as well is set on default so when you export with this resolution you are not having that you're not going to be having the best preview to give your audience a better experience so you need to change it to 1920 by 1080p which is the full hg by just start by just typing this and change it then you hit on this next one and change it as well so to so you're gonna be editing in full hg and as well export in full hg to give your viewer a better experience about your editing so the next one we're gonna be looking at is the frame rate the frame rate is what the fps is the, it's also known as frame rate which is frame per seconds the frame rate need to correspond with your what your shooting frame rate and as well your export frame rate because you don't want any issue of missing frame rate whereby leading to your your playback issue having hanging or all sort of issue like that so you want you have to know the footage frame rate to correspond with the, with the app frame rate you set and as well the export frame rate what did i mean by this is by clicking on the, the video itself on to the three line above it then click on other go to information then you see the information of the video that is being shooting 30 fps then in full hg so i'll then click on my root then i'll go to this and set it to that resolution then i know that my footage is being edited in full hg and as well i changed the what the the frame rate to 30. so what then is the preview resolution the preview resolution is that you don't want the this, your phone to, to use more power in what in preview your footage so you don't want to set the preview resolution to 100 because this, this is going to be used more power of the cpu to preview the to preview the footage to give you high quality the reason why you have to load this is that you want you only want to edit and see the actual editing you are doing so it is when you want to export it you have to what you have to export with high bit rate so you can have the final output with high resolution but when you are previewing it so you have to lower the preview resolution to have more space so you can have more space to what to work on the app and as well free and as well to relax your phone cpu not to overwork then the next one is the preview rendering mode what does this preview rendering mode does is that the preview rendering mode allows you what to choose what footage do you want to preview in editing so what does this mean this means let's say i have one two three four footage on the timeline right which they are in there so then now because the reason why you are seeing one footage is because the preview mode is set to current so once it's current whenever i click on this and I, i'm editing this it will only show me only this one and it will show me the next one which is which is good to set as current because when we are editing on singular footage you understand because we are editing on singular footage we don't want to preview every footage at every minute of editing so we only want to preview the footage we work on but if you want to preview on after you finish editing then you can then click on preview all layer that means all layer will be preview at once so for those that have an issue with only one single layer that is previewing the reason why is that we've already set 
to be what the preview ready mode to currently yeah so it's only going to be showing you that single video you are editing but if you want to preview all so that is when you go back and set it to all layer definitely you preview all your video the next one we're going to be looking is the audio you want your audio level to be what to be on what mono you have to check as well because the when you click because when you click on the three other and check the word and check the information about the information because this video right here doesn't have audio but if it's have audio you are going to see what audio level does this video is being captured then you can as well set it at this audio level here right so so you can as well set it at this change your audio rate the sample rate and as well channel either stereo or mono that is how you can what set the word the project settings in node video editing app just same as premiere pro and after effects this app is just amazing then when it comes to export rate as well you want to make sure that your frame rate is corresponding with, with the first project settings you set earlier and as well your frame rate and your quality for you to have a quality output you need to set it to high not don't set it to low or medium you set it to high quality rate so you have high quality beat rate so you have that crispy color and everything looks nice and give your audience a better experience so this is all about this project setting hope you gain value out of this video if you did please hit that like button subscribe and share the video if so leave me a comment if you think i didn't touch any part or you think i need let me know what you think about this app so we can learn together so i'll i'll see you in the comment section stay peace and be blessed bye for now